Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Crafty Saturday. My name is Michelle Irene, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Every Saturday morning, I go live with you right here on my Facebook page. And today, we are waiting for spring. Oh my goodness, I know some of you have had so much snow this week, I can't even begin to imagine. I remember living up north and, and having winters like that, but my goodness, you had a lot. It's raining here in North Carolina, and um, it's kind of gray, so I hope you've got a good um, good lighting this morning. I tried my best to get you some lighting. I see Janice is here and Helen is here. Good morning. I always feel like Miss Marianne on Romper Room when I tell everyone good morning. So we're going to use the Botanical Butterflies Designer Series paper. Sorry, I had to have a cup of coffee. Okay, or a sip. This paper is absolutely stunning. As you can see, um, it coordinates with balmy blue. It coordinates with Highland Heather. It's got some Calypso Coral. It has Mango Melody. It has Lemon Lime Twist. This paper is amazing, and I love the reverse sides in the black and white patterns. This is a free set or pack of paper with um, a purchase during celebration. And Jenny says it's her favorite paper, and it is mine too. Good morning, Miss Sarah. It's good to see you. Helen, you were on Romper Room? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Romper Room was my absolute favorite. I remember watching it every morning. Okay, so, you know, sometimes when we've got beautiful paper, we're afraid to use it. And we put it up on the shelf, and it just sits there gathering dust. So this morning, we are not going to let this um, gather dust. This is just my sample of what I, of what I did. Hold on, I've got um, text coming in. Let me turn the sound off on my computer. Where's that button? That one? There you go. Okay, so that's my, my showcase sample. But this is what we're going to make this morning. This is actually um, the sampler that I made. I made it just last night. And I have a friend who's going through a hard time right now. And I thought that this would be a beautiful, a beautiful way to brighten her day. Um, I'm not using the Butterfly Gala or the Beauty Abounds. I'm just showcasing the paper. And you know what? I grabbed some sentiments from the Beautiful You stamp set. Now this stamp set's been around for two years, but I absolutely love some of these sentiments. And so, you know, life may not be the party we had hoped for, but while we're here, we might as well dance. This is absolutely perfect. This is gonna brighten my friend's day when she receives that. So I've cut everything. Measurements, as always, are going to be right on my blog www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com Leave me a message out there. Craft along with me. Send me a picture of what you've made with this beautiful paper. Share my post with a friend. All of the above will be entered in to win my prize patrol for this week. And I realize that I haven't announced um, who my winners are publicly for the last two weeks, so I'll do that this afternoon. All right? So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to bring in my 12 by 12 piece of Whisper White cardstock. And actually, it's not even that. I'm going to show you a little trick. If you don't have Whisper White cardstock, look what you do have. You have the backing for your designer series paper. Don't throw it away. Stick it on a shelf with the rest of your paper because it comes in extremely handy. I like it. It's a little sturdy. Um, it's perfect. So I'm going to, actually, you know what, I'm going to set that aside first because I have nine pieces of basic black cut into three and a quarter inch squares. And then I have pieces of the Botanical Butterflies designer series paper, which I've cut into three by three squares. So let's set these out so I can see which ones I want because some of these are going to have my my black and white pattern. 
And I like that one. That one's kind of wonky. Okay. Ooh, how did I get so many of those? It's okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Wow, I have extras. That's nice. Okay. Let's do this. I'm not a big fan of that paper. And that will swap here. I think this one's going to go in reverse today. So let's put this one in the middle. <sighs> yeah. Awesome. Sorry, I'm just getting all my butterflies in a row here. All right. Something's off. Let's move that. Better. It's too early in the morning to be making patterns. Ah! All right. So all of these are going to be adhered really quickly. Whoops. Using some snail. You are on the grand prize game on the Bozo Show? Oh my goodness. Helen, you are like famous. I didn't know we had a celebrity amongst us this morning. Okay, so I'm just running a little snail on the back. And I'm going to put these all on here. And I just like the black layers because it, it ties everything in and give some depth to everything. It's raining so hard your ducks are getting in a row <laughs> instead of butterflies. It is raining. You know, you don't realize how much rain you have until you have Shih Tzus and oh, they get wet. Oh, they have a hard time drying. I had dachshunds my whole life, and dachshunds don't like to go out in the rain at all. And I used to have to take them outside and hold an umbrella. I'd have to carry them out because the rain would, they just absolutely would refuse to go outside. So you'd have to carry them out, put them out in the grass where it was far away for them to run to the house, hold an umbrella, Oh my goodness. But Charles and Storm don't particularly like the rain. But they're laying down quietly right now, so maybe they won't bark all morning. I did play ball with them for a good 20 minutes before we started this morning. So do you have a favorite of this butterfly pattern? I really like this balmy blue one, I think it's really pretty, but it's it's a really big pattern, so little bits at a time, or you could make like a really pretty bag out of it. I, I love it all. Okay, so that's done. So I'm going to bring back my sheet of 12 by 12, and I'm going to just kind of put these up there for now. Okay, and then fill in. Okay, and I have my stamps all set, and I'm going to stamp in Memento Black. This paper, there's so many colors, I just wanted the, the sentiments to really just stand out. So move that to the side just a little bit and let's do this one first and get up a 
And then I have my two inch circle punch. Oh. And I'm just going to punch that out. Oops. And you know if I have my two inch circle punch, what comes next? We must be going to use the starburst punch. And cut a nice layer for that. Okay, that's going to go on my center. Good morning, Janice. It's good to see you this morning. Okay, now. I have, what I did is I just went in my scrap bin of Whisper White. I don't keep scraps, okay? People always ask me, how do you store your scraps? And the secret is, I don't. The only scraps I keep are Whisper White and Very Vanilla, okay? And I'm gonna stamp this over on the left. And then I have this little scrap here, and I'm going to stamp this sentiment over on the right. Then I have my snips on the one that says, live with passion, laugh out loud, and love deeply. I'm going to come and I'm just going to cut and make this into like a little banner flag. Okay, cut up the center and then cut from corner to corner. Oops. And that's going to go right here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing only on the reverse side. Cut up the center and then corner to center on each side. And that will go right here. All right, so again, just kind of, see, some of you would absolutely grab your ruler and you would have this absolutely measured out. Let's see, who do I know who would do that? Janice, Janice is very meticulous and I love and appreciate that about her. And Sarah Donaldson would probably do the same thing and have it all absolutely perfect. But I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I'm not that person. Okay, I'm going to eyeball this. <laughs> and I'm going to start in the center so that I have an idea of where this is going to go. And I'm going to put my snail down. Okay, good morning Robin, it's good to see you, Michelle. And I'm going to put my center square right there. And then I'm going to work out. And I'm really eyeballing it. So if you ever get something from me, it's just going to be eyeballed and you're going to know that I love you, but I'm not, it, truly. That's how you know it's from me, and that's how you know it's homemade. It may not be perfect, but it's all right. Is anybody going to do anything today? Are you going out in the rain or the snow? Give me a thumbs up if you have snow right now. Do you have snow where you live? I saw the craziest thing. You know, you wake up in the morning, you have your cup of coffee, and you kind of scroll through Facebook. Craziest thing. Someone had a bicycle snowplow. And I thought to myself, you know what? 
having lived in the snow, that's all cute and good for video, but I know how heavy that snow is, and that's just not going to work. And, uh, you know, it might work if you just had a little dusting of extreme powder snow, okay? But it's not going to work if you've got feet and feet of heavy, wet snow. All right, ready? Let's find some dimensionals. I have a brand new sheet, and I'm going to pop some right on the back here. And then I have this grapefruit grove twine. This came from the nature's, um, I want to say nature's balance, but I think that's margarine, right? Anyways, I'm going to take a length. And again, my measurements aren't precise. So just cut some off. Take your dimensionals. And I want you to take it and wrap it around your fingers a few times. Okay? Well, maybe a little wider than that. You're going to go see the prettiest girl in her first dance competition. Oh my goodness. You have got the most beautiful little granddaughter, Sarah. She's gorgeous. That'll be good. That's a good rainy day, rainy day thing. Okay. You know how I stuck that on those dimensionals, right? It's not going to go anywhere promise. And then you can trim your ends. And these are my ribbon shears. You know that they're not stamping up, but they're my they're from when I was uh, was quilting. I like this so much better than quilting because I know I will get it finished in one day. All right. So that adds some color there. I'm going to add just one or two more dimensionals on the back because I want it to really stick since we put that twine on the back of that. Okay. Now, let's see here. I'm just gonna put snail on that one. Let's see what other goodies I have in my box that we can use. I have these. Now, I've been using all the butterflies, so let's do something else. Let's use one of these really pretty little um, butterfly embellishments. These come in the Celebration Catalog too, And they're really great. I've been using them a lot. And if you won Prize Patrol in January, you might have got some of these from me. Because I had a couple of extra. All right, so that's going to go there. Um, I have some of these Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. Wow, let me say that again. All right, and I'm going to come down and I'm going to grab the Grapefruit Grove. Ah, with the glue dot. I'm going to put that right in the center of my flower. We'll just add a little pop of color right there. Okay, then I'm going to add a few of those same Grapefruit Grove ones here because it matches the ribbon and it matches the paper. I love how Stampin' Up! coordinates, right? So I'm really using three different sweets. I have the Butterfly Botanicals. I have a pearl that's stuck, okay, the, the nature's, would someone look that up for me? You're going to be the best. Add that around the circle, all right, and then I take some more of that twine. And I'm going to tie the smallest 
slide it down. The top is out of the frame. Sorry. Is that better, Britain? Thanks for letting me know. I'm going to tie a bow, and I want it to be pretty small, but you can tie a huge bow and then just pull the ends. Don't worry about tying a small one. Tie a, a big one and then make it work. Okay, still kind of big. Little baby bow right here. And grab a glue dot. Okay, that glue dot's kind of big, so smush it down with your fingers, all right, so it doesn't show. And we're just going to add it right down there. All right. So really, that's my very, very simple um, sampler for you. A sweet and simple sampler. Please try saying that five times fast before a second cup of coffee. This, oh, Maryland, I'll bet it is cold up in Illinois. All right, I have a deal for you. Are you ready? This week, if you would like to get everything here but the 12 by 12 piece of paper, okay? Because you're gonna have cardstock and you can just grab the back of that cardstock. Um, everything that you see here, if you would like this, all you have to do is purchase a butterfly stamp set, okay? From me, not from somebody else, from me. This week, if you purchase any stamp set that has butterflies in it, it could be the Beauty of, or Beauty of Balance, it could be Butterfly Gala, it could be, I mean, um, Needle Point, Needles and Thread, that one has butterflies. There's several out there that have butterflies, okay? So if you were to buy a butterfly stamp, stamp set from me out at my store and the details will be on my blog I will send you the three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch basic black squares I will send you the three by three butterfly botanical squares I will send you everything you need twine the white um, cardstock for the banners us everything is there I can't stamp it for you but absolutely free if you buy a stamp set from me. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Prize Patrol, share my blog, share my um, Facebook post, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, make a comment. You guys were great this morning. I will announce last week and the week before's Prize Patrol on my blog today. So go out, enjoy, stay safe, stay warm, stay dry, and I'll be right here with you next Saturday. All right, take care and bye-bye.